Good morning everyone, or good afternoon if you're living in the UK. Um, it's just after about quarter to one in the afternoon. This is day two of a walk in the park. And go on, I'm stuck to my view. Um, <laughs> well, what do you expect? <laughs> so, I'm going to take you around a different route. Um, through the park um, especially on this side because there is a bit more to see and I wanted to show you some of the eclectic um, styles of houses we've got a little split here for some three-story houses and come on Bon and we've got the rest of the nice area of park over there so I'll just come in and show you some of these this one has got a um, little circular um, plastic I think they have I think it's for the dogs to peep through if they've still got dogs I'm not sure but uh, yeah I just thought I'd show you some styles of I'm not sure if you can see but these are three story houses you'll see better up there and um, all of these are built on the site of an old nunnery from years ago because we have at the end of this pathway Nun's Walk so that takes you down to another street but Nun's Walk is just around the corner there so this was quite a big place and these houses have been built since so there's the other side of the conservatory and I'm walking on this side because as you can tell the sun's out it's a lot nicer weather today it's only maybe two degrees warmer but it certainly makes a difference when you've got your uniform on I'll be taking my jacket off once I go inside the luminarium and for those that have joined and haven't seen video number one I recommend you watch it because it's really good so that's one of our taxi firms and um, my nickname for DPD is Diffidy I'm not trying to insult them, but sometimes you get dippy drivers. And if you look, let's see if I can zoom in. If you look over there, that is the queue. For those that haven't, I think it's a queue. For those that haven't bought the tickets, come on, van. Um, there was long queues yesterday. Let's take you out of it. There we go. Yeah, there was really long queues yesterday. You can buy your tickets online, but I think they're all sold out and you do have time slots for turning up 
every half an hour. There's an old Victorian name for one of the houses and we have here a um, prayer house. Um, they usually do out outdoor cooking when it's uh, their special events. And a little police station. I'll zoom out a bit more. There you go. Victorian building. And what I wanted to show you as well was another um, tree stump that has been wood carved and just pause it for a minute right so here I am at this tree stump and just quickly get closer so you can see the writing by the maker whoops where's the camera there we go And it's like a tongue in cheek. Well, it's sticking out his tongue, really. <laughs> so, <laughs> over here we have some pensioner um, housing and this is our bowling green which if you saw in yesterday's video was number four so I've just put the camera through the fence um, that building there, it has been rebuilt and is used for a few activities. We've had um, craft activities in there as, as well as exhibitions. And over here, there's the luminarium and as you can see, all those people queuing, they're the ones that haven't managed to buy a ticket online and they have to now queue because all the tickets are sold out it's um, £3 per person under five to go free and well if you're willing to stand there in the queue as it gets warmer and warmer <laughs> then um, yeah so There we go. So I've come extra early so I can do this video beforehand before I start my shift, which is for the four hour shifts, half one to half five. Um, so I'm going to miss part of Linda Simpson's video. Um, zoom out. There we go. So. This is not really a path, but it's a bit more shade on this side. And I've got time, I'll... They'll take you around the whole outside of it. But we've got some more Victorian houses, a few newer ones. If 
few gentlemen playing balls and I don't think I can get any, any nearer but see One thing I've never done, I've done temping bowling but not lawn bowls. There's another one coming with his ball bag. Now I'm not going to be rude. <laughs> So yeah, this is the other end of the park and it's a couple of years ago now we had the gates, um, the old Victorian gates to the park rebuilt or re, um, the rust taken off, repainted, um, some new stonework That's a hotel over there, that white building. So you can stay in the park. And I'll just wait for this car or two. And show you the, the gates. I was here with my mum for the grand opening of the Pearson Park gates. have a little allotment just on that side lots more housing lots of places to walk and I've now got to take myself round the other side to get myself in so I will pause it here and Maybe do some more later. Bye for now. I'm gonna stick this on to the video. Have you noticed all the tennis balls <laughs> on the end of the steel pegs? <laughs> It's a good idea that. That structure there is the flower that I forgot to video yesterday. There's a flower right in the middle and as you can see all these containers and all these little pods on the end that you can sit down in and chill out. Oh, and look, it's getting cloudy. No, well, it might be a bit cooler. So, yep, there we go. Press the button earlier. Anyway, this is our butchers. You got it. 
You're on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, this is our butchers. Um, so that's the prices that you can see. They close about four o'clock. Trying to avoid people. Over on that right hand side near the church, <coughs> I showed you that colourful building when I did the walk around. And what I didn't get to show you was the artistic um, wooden wall. And those are our telephone boxes. In our town we have cream ones, but in the rest of the country, the red. Let's try cross this road safely. As you can see, people are out drinking now. This is a multicultural community I don't go in that shop <laughs> don't like the owner behind it so this has been here for quite a few years just wait a moment let people pass. This one's closed for a little while. This can get pretty busy. But there's that church. And I'll just show you the upstairs. How long it takes me to cross this road. Cute. That one's too bad. We have a an art gallery on the corner of this street. And um just an art gallery but sometimes they have craft events, um, different artistic events that go on inside, up two floors. Show you that. I might have showed that the other day, I can't remember when I did the avenues. And some more pubs and eateries. And we have another church. We've got two churches down here. That's a Pentecostal church, that one. And once a month, I go to the back of there to do um, our craft group on a Thursday. This is our local mini market. It's a company I used to work for up to December, and uh, I'm gonna go in there, so I'll see you in a bit. This is our reduced section. Oh, my mum loves those. Get her then. Uh, nothing else. 
May as well take you around with me. I need a camper, I don't want one of those. on offer. Look at that one up there. Suckies. <laughs> oh, jam and cream stones. I had those for a long time, but I'm not gonna be tempted. I'll get a milk. No, I'll get a milk tomorrow. <sighs> now then, I know there's a few of you that like Cadbury's, there's Freddo, Dairy Milk. Alright Sharon. <laughs> and there's my drink, what I get every week. There's my basket. Yeah. And the price of it. Oops. Nearly dropped it. One thirty for I want a can for the uh, can holder, but I don't want them skinny ones. Not getting any beer. <laughs> what can I get for tea later in the week? Can I have a seat? Let's put you on pause. In your fridge. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that shopping trip. Nicely decorated. Um, see how the street is. And give you an update on that painted wall. A few more characters since I last showed you. Let's have a look in here. Our thrift, sh thrift shop. We call them second hand shops. I don't know if what you can see. There we are, that's a bit better. seen it open for ages but you can get a couple of nice things in here this closed down because it's always been busy so so you've seen this part of the wall I'm not sure if I showed you right at the top but and uh I did tell you that that little 
dog down there, Millie, Tilly, I've forgotten her name. Uh, we've taken from my photograph of the dog, so my photograph is now in print. So here's some more characters that you might not have seen, and they're all whole related. Can I get my words out? I'm sure this one's not finished and he hasn't gone back to it, but it might be finished. It looks better on the camera than it does. It. I'm looking at him. And they don't look finished and they look through the lens and the camera and it looks finished. Crazy. Actors, actresses, comedians. All on the TV. Let's go back. Now that one there, she's in Coronation Street. <laughs> and I've done, <laughs> I've forgotten uh, a name now. But in the previous, in the previous years, I was a cleaner for her mother before she died. Okay, this is my street. I'm signing off. Take care everyone. Come back soon for another video. Bye bye.